quote, I'm excited to join Ripple at such a pivotal moment in history. XRP seems to be pumping up once again. I have been seeing on Twitter that a lot of people have been getting this feeling that something's brewing, right? We could see an explosion happen with XRP. Hopefully we do, guys, because we need to start moving sooner rather than later. Because, guys, the markets are kind of boring right now, right? Now, a lot of huge news for today's video. Brad Garling also you know, as we continue to scale globally, our policy bench deepens with the addition of Michael Warren. Welcome to the board again. There we go. Now, now quickly, if we do talk about what's happening, what just happened from extension, Michael Warren appointed to Ripple's board of directors, another person tied to the U.S. government. What's going on? Let's have or let's look at the last four additions. Guys, we do not make these things up. Look who are they adding on to the team. Oh my. Michael Warren, administrations of two U.S. presidents, senior advisor of the White House, a presidential personnel office during President Barack Obama's first term. Clinton administration, executive director of the National Economic Council, U.S. Department of Labor. Again, guys, look at that. Guys, Ripple is adding these people right from the U.S. government. Do we not see? Do we not see what is actually taking place before our faces? Number two, Rosie Rios, forty-third treasurer of the United States. This is absolutely insane because this is literal proof that XRP is truly the coin that is the quote-unquote the one CEO the U.S. Mint, including Fort Knox. Again, guys, look at that. We do not make these things up, right? And if you go down here, there's more. Sandy O'Connor, chair of the Federal Reserve. Board's Alternative Reference Rates Committee, right? Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Again, guys, look at that. Four, Craig Phillips, Counselor to Secretary of the Treasury, Stephen Mnuchin. Policy Development for Regulatory Reform, Executive Order 137072. So basically, guys, what do we see right here? All of these people are joining Ripple, no other crypto team, right? This is how we know Ripple has the strongest team to date, guys. From Ripple themselves, we are excited to welcome Michael Warren to our board of directors. Michael will play a key role at Ripple as we continue to champion regulatory clarity in the U United States and expand our presence in global markets. So basically, as we see, this is absolutely insane. He joins Ripple with over 20 years of experience advising clients on international growth strategies, stakeholder management issues, and economic and geopolitical issues affecting global markets. Again, we're talking about global markets, guys. Isn't that interesting, huh? Quote, I'm excited to join Ripple at such a pivotal moment in history. Isn't that insane? At such a pivotal moment in history. Again, guys, history is unfolding right before our faces, right, right before our eyes, both for the company as well as crypto at large. Ripple and crypto, right, said Michael Warren. I have long admired the tendency shown by Ripple and its management team using regulatory setbacks in the U.S. as an opportunity to pioneer crypto regulation for the benefit of industry innovation and establish an equal playing field for all. Again, the equal, the level playing field comes back. That's what we've been talking about, guys. Remember, I look forward to being a part of Ripple's efforts to move the needle forward on crypto regulation while the company further solidifies its position as a leader in global finance and the digital economy. Again, guys, Ripple, the leader, XRP, is the heart of this new economy that is upcoming. We do not make these things up, guys. We do not. Look at, look, look at all the people they have on their team. That's all we need to see, guys, right? Now, from Bloomberg... Ripple CEO on SEC battle. We did see a portion of this video. Let's watch the rest. What do you make of the very prominent role that crypto is playing in the war on Ukraine and also concerns about how cryptocurrency could be used, for example, as a tool to circumvent sanctions by Russians? You know, Emily, I, I think this is a bit of a red herring, meaning that it, there's a lot of attention around it as like, what does this mean? But the, pra the practicality of using it to circumvent the sanctions, I think, is is really difficult. Uh, and it, the reality is that if you just take the basic math, before the invasion of Ukraine, there's about $50 billion a day of FX trades. There's just not enough liquidity in the crypto market to really put much of a dent in that. 
Moreover, you know, the point at which sanctions are applied is at the endpoint. So through, you know, exchanges, a, a bit stamp or a Binance. And it, you know, I think you've seen globally that the major exchanges around the world say, hey, we're going to we're going to acknowledge, enforce, and respect those sanctions. And so I think that the idea that crypto is being used at any scale to circumvent sanctions is uh, not not a really it's not it doesn't really understand how some of this stuff works. On one hand, you do have plenty of exchange administration to uh, kind of figure out what's going on under the surface in the market. But on the other hand, when it comes to the SEC, it seems like they've been at the crosshairs of a number of different firms. Do you think the SEC is taking a tougher stance than the administration at large? And do you think that will hinder at all some of the progress that some firms are making? Look, I think there's no question that the United States Security Exchange Commission has reduced the competitiveness of this critical industry in the United States. I think they've been out of step, not just with other parts of the U.S. government, but they've been other, out of step with other major economies around the world. The only country, the digital asset that Ripple uses in our technology stack, the only country in the world that thinks XRP could be a security is the United States. We work successfully in the U.K., in Switzerland, in Japan, in the UAE, in Singapore. All of these countries have acknowledged that XRP is a currency because that's how it's used. So I think the way the U.S., if we want the U.S. to be a leader in this new, growing, critical, innovative industry like the Internet 20 years ago, we need that regulatory clarity. And the SEC is really just coming out and saying that we're going to file lawsuits, enforcement. We're not going to provide clear rules so that people know how to operate. So guys, it's all before faces right there. Again, the United States, the only country in the whole world that's saying XRP is a security. Come on, the U.S., Again, they're, this is how we know they're just delaying, delaying, delaying till the events, till the world is ready to introduce the new standard of the new economy, XRP. More proof from Kristalina. The entire global economy will feel the economic ripple effects, quote, by the way, of the war in Ukraine, right? With slower growth and faster inflation, the reverse of what we want to see. So basically, we see what's happening right here. But it's interesting because you know what happens, right? They put it in plain sight at the end of the day. Ripple effects is right. She said that on purpose. Read between the lines, guys. Right? Managing director of IMF News. The IMF. The IMF, guys. Now, David Shorsosudo. XRPO Dex now supports USDC. USDT via GitHub, right? So basically, and the first euro back stablecoin is soon to come via status network or net, as you see right there. Many of XRPL's core features have been available since 2012. Guys, look at that. When was XRP even thought about? Probably decades ago, right? So we do see what's happening right here. Now, built for payments, the XRPL allows counterparties, financial institutions, central banks, governments. <gasps> Come on, guys, right? The ability to fully settle transactions cheaply in just a few seconds. This assurance eliminates overnight and business risks for financial institutions in particular. Guys, again, this is why they love XRP. Such counterparties are why one universally agreed upon stablecoin is highly unlikely. There we go. There are a few reasons for this, but mainly because stablecoins have an issuer as a counterparty that does not allow them to interoperate across payment networks and jurisdictions, right? Neutral counterparty free digital assets like XRP solve this problem by acting as a bridge that allows payments to be settled quickly and efficiently without needing any trusted central intermediary. Look at that guys, again, XRP, right? The neutral asset like we have been talking about all this time. And look what happens, come on guys. Again, XRP being what? The heart and the quote unquote golden bridge. That's going to be inter that's going to interconnect the whole world together, right? Pretty crazy stuff. Now, quickly, Rob Express without Taco Sand update. Just under four months left till Jet is done selling his XRP. There we go, guys. All the proof is right here. Basically, Jet's balance, balance and release, as you guys can see, selling XRP remaining 471 million XRP. That's a just a mind-blowing amount of XRP to, to even just hold, right? If you go on the one-week average, we can see the estimated end date, 7-10, which is 115 days. One-month average is the same, as you guys can see. But then we can see the three-month average, right? Which is more interesting because, look at this, estimated end date, 2022-09-09, 176 days left. 
Isn't that interesting, right? 9 September, which is complete. So guys, I mean, or completion. Very interesting. Again, this is the year. I'm pretty sure XRP, sh I mean, has to go to double digits in my honest opinion. Because of all the catalysts, of all the events we see right here. With Jed, with the other events, with the news, with the SEC, right? All these things, guys, will conclude this year in my humble opinion. But anyways, that's all for you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, if you guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to have an amazing day. Anyway, guys, see ya.